party grade According to Sapiens T A R D I Grade Tardy grade, tardy, maybe, eight superb legs. Wiggle, wiggle, wobble, wobble. They can't cancel the final movie. They simply can't. Marty? Hello? You still there? What do you mean they're using the act of God clause? Yeah, I got the paper right here. Hold on. I'm opening it now. Page three? I don't see, uh... Oh my God. I don't believe it. Marie is dead. Oh, Marie. They got you too, didn't they? Marty, 
Marty. Who wrote this? It's a disgrace. Who in their right mind would call this an obituary? It tells us nothing about the woman. I could learn more about her from her driver's license. And I'm not even mentioned? Not a single word about me. Fair enough, I'm not the person who died. But still, you can't ignore the influence I had on her life and her work. Crap. Total crap. One thing's for sure, this is not going to happen to me. Why not, you ask? Because I'm going to write my own obituary. What I'll call an auto-obituary. Why not? We'll begin dramatically. Yesterday, Tuesday, October 1st, the prolific screenwriter Daniel Nelson died. Wait. The distinguished playwright. No. The controversial artist. Yes, that's it. Right to the point. Yesterday, Tuesday, October 1st, the controversial artist Daniel Nelson died. His death was confirmed by his... I'll leave that part out for now. The controversial artist Daniel Nelson died. No cause of death was provided. Perfect. Mystery is always a strong element. Hooks the reader. Danny, as he was known, was made famous by his blockbuster tardigrade film franchise, which includes the tardigrade identity and the tardigrade supremacy. At the time of his death, the grand finale, the tardigrade ultimatum, was pending production. Okay, I get the message. The final movie is pending because the studio head said to the producer, Marie de Villiers, and I quote, Another one? What are you gonna call it? The tardigrade redundancy? Executive humor. And if that's not bad enough, I had to find this out from the assistant director's second cousin's ex-girlfriend. The tardigrade ultimatum was canceled, and did Marie think to mention it to me? No, not a word. I don't get it. You're right, my friend. I won't dwell on it. Wait. Hello? You still there? Marty? Marty? No problem. Take your time. Your life coach is more important than I am. Where was I? <laughs> Dan 
Nelson was born in New York City to Richard and Constance Nelson. His mother was a homemaker and his father was a skeptic. Actually, my father was a gas main inspector, but skepticism is a good quality for that job. By college, Danny had taken jobs as diverse as bartender, paper hanger, street mime, taxi driver, hitting the road in a Kerouacian fashion. God, no, that's a terrible word. A contemporary Dorothea Lang, he took to the road as a keen observer of the American scene. Mr. Nelson's friends... Wait. Mr. Nelson's many friends were not surprised when he became a playwright and wrote a two-part trilogy based on his travels. Heh, <laughs> anyone can write a three-part trilogy. I radicalized the four. But his plays were far too original for the staid New York critics to grasp. He decided only Hollywood would understand his uncompromising voice. So he wrapped his Smith Corona in a bundle of black long sleeve turtlenecks, his black drawstring harem pants, a pair of black slip-on loafers, two pairs of red socks, and headed to the Wild West. It was on that Pan American flight to LAX that Mr. Nelson met the woman with whom he would fall in love, Marie Constance de Villiers, a fellow dreamer of the silver screen. If there was ever a sign of a doomed marriage, Meeting your wife on an airplane stranded for four hours on runway 13 at JFK is it. <sighs> I'm getting ahead of myself. The young Ms. de Villiers, a member of the celebrated New York family, was Mr. Nelson's first love. She changed his life. Their wedding was a legendary event covered in countless newspapers and magazines, including the New York Times Sunday Vows column. We had plans for a family, but we discovered we were infertile. Whose fault was it? Does it matter? Hers. I blamed her. She eventually left me for her gender non-conforming assistant before our divorce was finalized. They have three children. Right, no blame. Sorry, I got carried away. I'll focus on the good stuff.
while still together, Danny and Marie compensated for their lack of offspring by writing cabinets full of screenplays. Their marriage was fecund. I love that word. With eerie thrillers, romantic comedies, even cocktoish black and white experimental films costing a burger and a half to produce. But most notable was the Tardigrade Trilogy, starring Matt DeMond as Luke Spacewalker, the savior, battling to protect the sapiens from interstellar vampires. All this while he's seeing the Martian therapist, Dr. Zima Vikvichar Nazar von Dartegedito, PhD, to protect himself from emotional cross-contamination-induced depression. The film topped the box office for weeks, for months. Audiences cheered, critics raved, producers counted. Forgive me, what is a tardigrade, you ask? A fair question. Quite simply, a tardigrade is the toughest animal Earth has ever produced. These cute, squiggly water piglets are the epitome of resilience, the opposite of mammalian vulnerability. You say a drought is coming? No matter. They pull their eight legs and head into their body and shrivel up for a decade. But give them a droplet of water and they pop right back with a face that says, Ha ha, nice try, pal. Here I am. You can boil them, saute them, crush them with your foot, drop them from the Empire State Building, even expose them to Asian helicopter parents, and they pop right back with their wiggly face. Wiggle, wiggle, ha, ha. Nice try. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wait. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wobble. That whole John Williams E.T. vibe wasn't cutting it. What a shame. Aha! I've got it. The tardigrade ultimatum will be a Bollywood movie ending with a dance number. That's it. Those dancers' moves look exactly like tardigrades under a microscope. I'll tell the studio head, we don't need you, Buster, because the Tardigrade Trilogy is coming to Bollywood. I know exactly who to talk to about this. Marty? Marty, you still there? Marty? You're going to love this. By any chance, do you have the area code for Mumbai? T-A-R-D-I-G-R-A-D-E Bollywood, Bollywood Wiggle, wiggle, wobble, wobble Bollywood, Bollywood T-A-R-D-I-G-R-A-D-E Tardy, great 
Hollywood. Tardigrade, wiggle wobble, wiggle wobble, tardigrade, T A R D I G R A D E. Kill me if you can. Wiggle, wiggle, wobble. If you want to live, go wiggle, wiggle. If you want to live, wiggle, wobble, wiggle, wobble, wiggle, wiggle. Bollywood, Bollywood. Bollywood, Bollywood. Thank、you